want to know why Vincent's meat tastes so good. Uh, he mixes the pork with the... Uh... <laughs> Sweet old Grandpa Farmer Vincent along with everybody's weird on Ida are brother and sisters who run a nice little motel out in the country, and they sell some of the best meat you'll ever have. The only problem is, it's people. Now grab a chainsaw and Farmer Vincent's meat, cause it's time to watch people die. It takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. You know what that means boys, Ida fire up the tractor. Take off! Hey Terry, your boyfriend's here. Turns out he didn't die in that crash. He won't be hanging around for too long though, cause he's got a hot date with Vincent. <laughs> After having a chainsaw fight with the creepy sim sheriff, Farmer Vincent takes a chainsaw to the gut, causing his death. So the group of victims who the Smiths buried up to their necks managed to escape, and for some reason, acted like zombies? I don't really know why. But anyway, uh, they got out, and Ida didn't. In the end, a total of six people die in 1980's Motel Hell, and counting at least five other identifiable corpses, that brings the number up to 11. Though there's definitely more, I mean, they've been doing this shit for 30 years, so... The bronze cage knife for worst skill goes to Ida. I thought it was funny when they removed the bag to reveal just her feet, but compared to the rest where we actually see the kill, yeah, I'll give this one to her. And the golden frank for best kill goes to Vincent. Rest in peace, old man. Rape cop did you real dirty. Be sure to let us know your favorite kill down in the comments below, and while you're down there, have you seen the movie? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you back here again with more dead people. Have a nice day.